Well, Dave, that feels like a really significant win today. How does it feel to you? Yeah, exactly that. Um, big three points um, against a, a team that we want to have a direct impact on, upon, if you like. Um, so, yeah, in terms of the importance of the game, absolutely, right up, right up there. Um, and we hope will be uh, one that potentially becomes pivotal as we, we edge towards the back end of the season. I think for the first time in, in maybe three months, we've changed our back four today. Was that your choice? Was it necessity? Um, it certainly worked, whatever it was. A bit of both. Um, like I say, circumstances dictated, obviously, with um, the, the injuries we've got, that we would have been potentially putting a square peg in a round hole. We could have played Will there if we did it earlier in the season. Um, we, I suppose, against especially against Northampton, with how they've been all season, they've pretty much been 4-3-3. Three, three. Yeah. They tweaked their shape a little bit, to be fair. Um, so we we went in in that way, knowing that Aki would do a job at right-back without being a marauding right-back. Um, but we wouldn't have as much width down that side. Obviously, when the opportunity came um, to bring Kyle in, that, that changed it slightly, but he was only in yesterday. So um, for him to get a, a sort of little bit of a cameo was... Was good. Um, thought he thought he looked really really good, mm. um, and showed really promising signs. Um, but like I say, with with what we had, we felt that was the the best way to go. That potentially could give us some control. Didn't always work out that way because what we do have in uh, with the midfielders we picked is they tend to want to run up, run away, um, and at times they left that the, the middle of the pitch vacant in the first half, which caused us problems because Hoskins and, and, and Pinnock picked up picked up them pockets and on the transitional moments looked a big threat. Neil Byrne was obviously pivotal today coming in to replace Fraser Horsfall who you think would be irreplaceable but thought he did a terrific job today and it was a clean sheet as well which you'd be delighted about. Yeah, listen, a, a clean sheet large, but in, in lots of instances down to, to Ben with some of the saves that, that he made but um, I, I thought the second half was better. Um, first half, I say almost looked like a, a back four that maybe hadn't played together an awful lot. We know that, listen, in terms of that shape, there's definitely work to do with Ryan um, and his understanding of the Ryan Rydell and his understanding of the role as a, yeah. as a left back and a four. And, and Aki's not a, a natural right back. He's not a natural talker and organiser, all those sort of things. And I, and I thought that's all in the, in the first half. Second half was much better when we when we tweaked our shape a little bit and we looked far more comfortable when we went back to a, a five or a three, whatever you want to call it, with the wing-backs. It felt important today for Anthony Sarsovic to have a good game and, and to cap it with a goal and that ovation that he got when he came off today was was really heartwarming, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I, I, I've said this quite honestly, Sarsovic is a massive player for us. Um, without without knowing when he started the season like a house on fire and, and, and probably maybe people that expect that because of, yeah. of what he is and what he's done. Um, he's had a little bit of a, a little bit of a drop. Um, and that coincided with the team performing and the team playing well and going on a, a run. But th that won't that won't change in terms of my thoughts on, on him. He is a, a hugely important player for us for us. He has the record he has based upon that. He's a serial promotion winner um, and we want to try and add another one to, to that CV. Um, so, let's say, for, for him to um, to go in, um, like you say, round it off with a, with a goal, but the goal isn't, again, not the be-all end-all for, for me in terms of what we want from him. Um, I, again, stay away from social media and things, um, but there have been some things that have been told um, around people voicing opinions about him. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll hang my hat on him, um, not more than anyone else in the team, but I know how he imp important he is to us. Um, he'll be a massive, massive part of anything we achieve, whether that's out on the pitch from the start, whether that's know-how around getting to the business end of the season, whether that's helping players who are um, in that possession or whether it's around Carrington every day, he's a, it's a huge part of that group. You mentioned the fans there on social media. What about the fans inside the ground today? I thought they played a really important part because in the start of the second half, Northampton, as you would expect, came out fired up and they had a, a really good good opportunity with Hoskins. Ben made that great save, as you say. But the fans after that just seemed to react and, and, and lift you to another level. Almost. Yeah, I've said this, I've said this before. Um, I thought, first off, we were flat, as a, not as a, a, a collector, as, as a group. Mm. And I think... I spoke at half time. Body language plays a big part in that. I'm, I was never the greatest footballer, but 
I showered at people, I taught, I organised, and I, and I look, looked like I was busy pulling people. I'm trying to make my job as easy as possible. Yeah. We need more of that. We need more of that. And I think that then um, coincides with what happens off the, off the pitch. What, what what we need to do and what, what the supporters did for us was, I suppose, they took control and they took ownership of that and making sure that um, we've gotten our goal, we've gotten ourselves in front. We now want to want to kick on. We're obviously attacking that end and make it an atmosphere that that really really suits us. They took, like I say, took a lead on that, um, and as you say, the players thankfully reacted to it in a in a real positive way. Um, we got ourselves on the front foot, um, and as the game went on, we looked the ones that were, were more threatening, which was really really pleasing. I think I'm right to say it's eight wins in eleven now. <coughs> is this a is this a promotion charge? Is that how you see it? I'm not sure. It's a, a, a promotion charge. It's, it's a um, it's a make up for the first ten games charge. Um, it's got us back in a like I say back in a place where um, we're one of the chasing pack. We're as you say we're, we're three points off the playoffs with uh, with a game in hand. I think we're nine points off Northampton now. We were third with two games in hand. So we, we've we've. Climbed a few more rungs of the ladder, if you like, where others others haven't. So we're we're in the mix. Um, we're still on the periphery. Still um, lots and lots to do. Yeah. Uh, like I say, I, I said in my programme notes, for me the next seven games could, could almost be almost be season defining. Um, this is the first game of the second half, and we've started it in a, a really positive manner. We have to take that forward now and make sure that come. Ten games to go, when things will be a lot more clearer. That we're one of them ones that are in the shake-up, and um, and hope look forward to some really big games here and, and away from here. Um, come come April and May time. Let's crew next week away from home. You're back in the top ten, just three points off the playoffs. Well done today. Thanks, John. Thank you.